Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 16, even in odd numbers. Before I begin, um, I want to mention a term I'm going to use in this lesson. Um, and if I go down to here and I show you the place values of numbers, what I'm talking about is this ones position. Okay, right next to the decimal places, ones, tens, and hundreds. We're going to talk about the unit position. And in math, one means a unit. So if I'm going to be talking about the unit's position, I'm talking about the position. Okay, just to keep that clear. Ones means, the unit means one. Okay, so in this, we're talking about even and odd numbers. So what is an even number? Um, it is an integer. Okay, integer being positive or negative numbers on the number line, no decimals, no fractions. An integer that can be evenly divided by 2. And when I say evenly, I mean no decimal places, no decimal values, no fractions. You're going to get an integer when you divide it by 2. And some examples are any number that ends in 0, 2, 4, or 6, or 8. And it continues on and on and on. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, list some examples of even numbers. 254, 3,796. So as long as the last number is one of these, it is even. Okay, what is an odd number? It is an integer. that cannot be divided evenly by as simple as that, okay? In other words, numbers that do not end in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, in other words, numbers that end in 1. Three, five, seven, or nine. And repeating, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, and so on, and so on, and so on. So an example of an odd number would be 73. Last digit, or the unit's digit, the ones, is odd. 87. Any one of these numbers ending in the number. 4,589 odd. Okay. There's some examples of odd numbers. So then it says, what happens when we add two even numbers? Do we always get an even number? All right. So what happens when we add two even numbers? Do we always get an even number? And I'm going to say yes right now, but I'm not going to explain why here. Um, there's next examples coming up in the exercise, and that will explain why is the sum of two even numbers even. So think of the problem 12 plus 14. Draw dots to represent each number. Well, if it's divisible by two, let's make groups of two. So I'm going to make two rows. So in other words, 12 divided by two is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six times two is 12. So two rows of six, meaning 12 divided into two rows will give us six in each row. Plus 14 would be 14 divided by two is seven. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have 12 dots here in blue and 14 dots in purple. And if I group these in pairs, since 2 divided by 2 is 1, that's one pair. 2 is an even number. 4 is even. 6, 8, 
10, and 12 is all even. They are all even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So since every single number is, every one of these is grouped in pairs of 2 and there are no leftovers, that means that it is divisible by 2 because I have pairs of numbers. So 12 plus 14 is 26. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 13 pairs. 13 times 2 is 26. Okay, so 26 divided by 2 is 13. So therefore it is... Okay, no remainder is divisible by 2. Okay, so there, here it says circle pairs of dots to determine if any dots are left over. And that's what I just did. There are no leftovers, so when there are no leftovers, it is... Is this true every time two even numbers are added together? Yes, because we will never have a dot remaining. if each number produces pairs. With none, with no remaining, with no remaining dots. Talking about it in the dots notation. Okay. okay, example two. Why is the sum of two odd numbers even? Well, if I do this again, it says circle pairs of dots to determine if any dots are left over. I will make up a set of dots. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oops, not twelve, eleven. Our number is eleven. Eleven. Plus. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and if I circle pairs, which means they're divisible by 2, if I get an even number of pairs, no remainders, so this is an odd number because I have this left over, okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 0.5 if you divided that by 2, and that is not an integer. So an odd number is a number that can't be divisible by 2, and this cannot without getting a remainder. So when I come over to this 15, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pairs, but then I've got this remaining. And if I take this and pair it up with this, then they create a new pair. And I get a total of 26, and I have 13 pairs of two dots. So if we add a negative or an odd to an odd, we get an even. Odd plus odd is even. Is this true every time two odd numbers are added together? And the answer is yes, because each number... Since they're both odd, each number will have one remaining dot. And the two remaining dots remaining dots um, form a okay number three why is the sum of an even number and an odd number odd circle pairs of dots to determine if any dots are left over so think of the problem 14 plus 11 14 is even 11 is odd so when I take 
14, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then when I pair these up, I get 7 pairs of 2, making 14, and I get 5 pairs of 2 with a remainder of 1 to make 11. So I have this remainder sitting here. So it has nothing to pair up with over here like when we're adding two odds. So an even plus an odd equals odd. And it's ending in 1, 3, 5, 7. Is this true every time even a number and an odd number are added together? And the answer is yes. And the reason is because there are no remaining dots from the even number. But there is one remaining. One remaining dot from the up. What if the first add end is odd and the second is even? Is the sum still odd? Why or why not? So, for example, if we had 11 plus 14, so all we're saying here is we have 14 plus 11. What if we switch these around 11 plus 14? Does that matter? Well, if I make a group of dots like we did up at the top, all we're going to be doing is moving this group over here with the remainder first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 plus 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And when I pair them up, okay, we have the leftover. Pairs of twos, pairs of twos, pairs of twos. No leftovers, so this is still going to equal 25. Well, 14 plus 11 equals 25. And 25 equals 11 plus 14. Therefore, 14 plus 11 has to equal 11 plus 14. That is the commutative property of addition, which simply states that order does not matter when we're adding, we'll get the same. So if the odds first and the even second, or the evens first and the odds second, we're still going to get an odd number one. It ended at one, three, five, seven. Okay, here's an exploratory challenge now. Let's talk about products. Now you have to know that that means an answer when multiplying. So if I say the product of two even numbers is even, they're saying multiply two numbers until you get an even. So I'm just gonna choose small numbers so I don't have to draw so many dots. 2 times 4. They're both even. They're both divisible by 2. So if I do 2 times 4, that really means two groups of 4. So here's 4. There's one group of 4. And here's another group of 4. So 2 times 4 means two groups of 4, which it totals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 dots. And if I circle these, like we did before, divisible by two makes pairs of two. And if we have a leftover, it is odd. And if we don't, it is even. So multiplying an even times an even equals even. So that is true. All right, so this says the product of two odd numbers is odd. So let me just choose two odd numbers. Let's do three times five. Three and five are odd. That just means three groups of five. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, and keep repeating that, 
one, two, three, four, five. Finally, the third time, one, two, three, four, five. And I circle my pairs. There's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, and so on. I have these leftovers here, but I can pair this with that. So there's a group, but I still have this left over. Three times five is 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 ends in one, three, five, seven, nine. So it is odd with this remainder. The product of two odd numbers is always odd. The product of an even number and an odd number. So an even number times an odd number. This just simply means two groups of three. So I'm going to do a group of three and another group of three over here. Two groups of three, if I multiply these, it means three, two groups of three, one, two, three, four, five, six, three times two is six. Okay. And then look what happens here. We had a left over here, we had a left over here, they pair up, no remainders, so it is, so the product of an even number and an odd number is always Okay, and the lesson summary sums it all up here. The sum of two even numbers is even. The sum of two odd numbers is even. The sum of an even number and an odd number is odd. If we're multiplying two evens, we get even. If we're multiplying two odds, we get odd. If we're multiplying even and odd, we get even. If you have trouble remembering these six, simply do an example of the smallest two numbers you can think of that are that satisfy this. So the sum of two evens, two plus four equals six even. Sum of two odd numbers, three plus one equals four even. The sum of an even and an odd, one plus two equals three. Just pick small values and check it. Product of two even numbers, two times four equals eight. Two odd numbers, one times three equals three. The product of an even and an odd, one times two equals two. Pick simple examples to substitute in values that they're talking about if you don't remember the rules. This is the end of lesson 16. Go do your problems.